the first question would be like, uh, why do you choose this sport, sir? Like among other sports. Uh, it's a very uh, it's a very fun sport. It's not boring. It's uh, I started. My dad started doing uh, jet skiing when I was a kid, when I was around four years old, and I ever since then I'm just been racing my whole life. Oh, so you have been racing jet ski for like many years now, sir? Yes, I started yeah. racing. I started racing when I was four and a half years old, and it goes on until now. Okay, sir. And uh, like, how how I mean, what what is like the daily routine of a jet ski athlete, sir? Uh, the daily routine, huh? Basically, we have our normal life. Yeah. But obviously, we have more training than most people. We we go to the gym. Like I personally go, we go for a run in the morning, like around 6 a.m., 5 a.m. We go for like a 10k run, uh, maybe every other day, and then gym. Like we go to the gym, fitness. Yep, yep. Yeah, we do that. You know, train our high intensity training. You know, and then functional training, all that kind of stuff. That's during the weekend, uh, during the weekdays, and then during the weekend we train jet ski usually. So, what are the functional training? Uh, it, that's a bit technical here. Yeah, functional training is basically your core balance to train. Mm. So, because jet ski is very uh, whole body workout. Okay. It's a it's a full body workout. So, like from your neck to your calves, it's it's you're you're working your your whole body. So we need to we need to uh, train the whole body instead of just you know your arms your mm -hmm. leg but it's the whole thing and then learn your breathing we also uh, did some pilates yoga you oh. know that's kind of stuff because core and flexibility your you need to be agile you need to be strong and yeah you need to have endurance and like also so like you know like normally yeah. for motorbikes uh, you know like riders may start from bicycle and then they go to like you know, bigger, smaller motorbike to bigger motorbike. Right. How about jet ski? Is it the same? Yes, we have we have lots of classes. We have in the world we have uh, 48 classes, if I'm not mistaken, and it's categorized within the people, the person. So the skill uh, they have juniors, uh, juniors, novice, expert, amateurs, pro am, and pros, and then there that's so that's the classification for the riders, the skill. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the classification for the engine, mm. which is uh, lights, stock, and then limited, super stock, open, and then GP. So you have all the combinations going on there. And yes, sir. And also, like, is there any like a physical, you know, like standard that you know should be for MotoGP, for example, mentally and also physically, for example? Uh, physically, you just need to be strong, you know. There is no age limit. There is, I mean, there is a 16 years limit minimum just for safety reasons. But other than that, you just need to be strong. And you know, when riding at this kind of waves, mm. you just need to be like all out. And you know, you got to know how to ride your ski. You, you got to know your own body if it, if you're actually strong enough to pass someone, or you know, you don't want to hurt yourself. Yep, yep. And uh, another question, sir, also about technicality, also because not many Cambodian again understand this sport. Yep. What are you know the, the you know the measure that you take in order to protect yourself at sea? The the what? Like uh, the you know like the condi you know like the technique that you take to protect yourself at uh, you know at sea when when oh, doing this. I mean, uh, at the in the ocean. I'm from Indonesia, so yep. we basically we practice at the ocean. So this is like our playground, and the more you train on at the ocean, I think the more endurance you will have. And so yeah, that, that's how how we train, and that's how uh, I was able to you know pass people in some sort. Yes, sir. And just a quite funny question: If you wear glasses, like, yeah. is it hard? Or I mean, do do athletes li really like wear glasses? Or I not? have some powers, but I don't, I don't ah. use it. Okay, sir. Okay. I don't use it because uh, you will eventually learn to focus far. Oh. Ah, okay. So I think it actually helps, and actually. It reduces my, my glasses usage. Okay, sir. So yep. I think it's good. And one last question here, sir. Uh, I mean, Cambodia and Indonesia, I see that the country in some places, it, it is very religious. Right. So when you do this at sea, like, do you pray or do you, you know, do some religious, like, uh, something try, to protect I, yourself? I try not to have uh, the superstition. Oh, okay. Because I just, you know, I travel around the world for racing. Mm -hmm. We travel to the US. 
to Europe, you know, Japan, yeah, China, yeah. you know, all over the world. And we, I try not to have any superstitions going on. Oh, so you just rely on your technique? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.